Good afternoon Flosstube, it's Lisa here at the Shady Tree Stitches coming back to you with my weekly cross stitch update. Thanks for taking a bit of time to join me. As usual, should be pretty short and sweet. I don't think I have an awful lot to share, although who knows, maybe I'll surprise myself. I mean, I've done a lot of stitching, I really have. In the last week since I saw you, I have done over 5,739 stitches. So exciting it's a lot of stitches and that's mostly thanks to the 24 hours of cross stitch weekend that just happened so I participated in that easily made the 24 hours I'm a team sleep I just stitched all day um, and I got 1758 stitches done on Saturday which was good today today is um, Monday my time it's currently Monday the 24th of January 2022 and so I um, didn't get nearly as much stitching done yesterday, but it's all good. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new, I hope you like what you see. If you do, please press subscribe and like, and that way you'll be notified of what comes up. Um, next week, we get to have Jenny back with us for our monthly Jenny catch up. So that will be really cool. Um, you can look forward to that. And of course, there'll be a monthly um, challenge chat coming up on the first but for now let's see what I've stitched on okay well in no particular order I was working on the pieces for my whip go that I hadn't got to and I re-gauged my whip go goal down to 1011 stitches so that on each whip go board I'm going to achieve 2022 for 2022 um, each in each one and I've got three boards sort of a small medium large bap um, so on my small board we had samurai so that's my samurai and my samurai we did a lot of stitching on um, about not, not a lot this week a lot last week but another 300 stitches this week so that's what he looks like now I thought that was a bit of white fluff but that's stitching so he's still got a fair way to go, but he's a lot better than he was. So as usual, I'll put the before and after shot up here as I pack them up so that you can um, see the difference of where we got to. Okay, I also um, did some work yesterday on Anzac. Now Anzac fitted a couple of prompts, but in particular I was proud of myself. Royalty, can you see the crown on that, on that sheep? So did some work on Anzac, didn't do a lot of stitches, only 400 stitches on Anzac, but it was enough to start to get those koalas hugging. So I finished up the top, you can see I got all the way up to the top and across, and then I was working on this pair of koalas hugging here. So Anzac is going to stay in the rotation because it needs to get done. Next one I have in my pile here is the shabby autumn calendar. From Cure Batacore. I'm really, really loving these. I'm going to have to do the whole series for sure. Um, but I was really pleased to get quite a bit done. A whole nother box is complete, number 13. And that one took 778 stitches to complete. So all of my whip goes are now over that level. Anything else I stitch on them in the, in the rest of this week will be a bonus i also then did some work on today on a non-whip go and i have done an adjustment to my big frame so i'll show you this first i've cut it down to a bit more manageable size so it fits across my chair it was way too big being full width and i thought well i don't need this bit clamped because i'm only working you know in one bit so I have cut my frame down to that size now, a lot more sensible, and that one is not a whip go, but it is a piece that I picked just as the, an extra piece to fit in prompts, and geez, it came in handy. It's the Disneyland world map. I know I have to do an animal wearing clothes for one of them, so I'm right down in this little green corner there. So I am... Um, I've only done 200 stitches on it today, but I know I have a couple more prompts to work on that today. So 
and you know since it's monday i'm i'm already etched into next week but because of 24 hours i'm a bit late getting this to you and that's okay i'm sure you'll forgive me okay i also did some work on where is she hiding miss Gigi, nora corbett Gigi, and she's the other one from the oh i'm missing you bud that's good she's the other one from the small smaller Whitgo board and I did heaps on Gigi look she's like a whole witch now with hair so I even sat at the pool at Moody's in the pool and did some work on Gigi um, so I did about another 500 stitches on her oh yeah and you get to enjoy the difference okay and then that then leaves me to Three more pieces. Okay, we had a major disaster. Major disaster. My major disaster related to Joy and Noel. And the problem is that I was working on it. And I've been working quite a bit on it. I've been doing lots and lots and lots on it. And I have gotten up to here, which was 1,399 stitches. And then I realized that that was the size of my fabric. And this angel here does not belong. So I'd have to frog all that section there. And then there'd be a middle section and three more angels. Can you see the problem? I think somebody was a bit of a goose it the wrong way so I have had to use my freebie in no new starts and I have had to restart because restarts are not allowed this year unless they're a freebie restart my Joya Noel now my Joya Noel restart though I restarted in the middle <laughs> and this is I'm doing on a piece of 36 count linen in minty color from Patagonia Designs just rather convenient when I realized last night that I just happened to have a fabric shop out in my backyard so I popped out and decided to do it on 32 36 count and I'm liking it so we're going to start in the middle and see where that goes so that will probably get a bit more love um, a bit more love as we progress I should say while I'm digging in here um, this is a bunch of really nice donations that came in um, for the No New Start. So if anyone else out there um, in Australia has got charts that are in good quality or anything they want to get through past the stash, um, feel free to reach out to me because No New Starts is looking for prizes to give away. I'm having so much fun. Leg one is almost finished. Um, and so we're going to be heading to, going to be heading very quickly into leg two and that's going to be super fun. All right. Daily 30 and my friends getting me to work on Cross Stitch Nation Sal. 300 ish stitches a week. Um, I actually did 342 on it, which gave me all of Rachel's clothes. And I'm using the Cottage Garden threads. And these are a nude set, so they don't have names, but can you see that it looks like Rachel's spilled something all over her pants? Uh, we're blaming Sue, who's this one. For spilling bleach all over Rachel's pants because we're having fun with it. So that's how my cross stitch nation is going, and you get to see that improve each um, fortnight on Laurie and my week uh, well challenge chat that we're doing every fortnight. Okay, one more piece, only one more piece to work on, and that is the temperature bookshelf, um, which I am doing my um, my stitching count progress. It is starting to look really good. Lots of different colours happening. So there we go. More than halfway through January. So I'm really thrilled with how that's progressing. All right. So that, my friends, is my stitching. Under 10 minutes of stitching for, you know, really over 6,000 stitches. It's been a really good week of stitching. Lots of fun, lots of zooming um, in Funday group as well as in No New Starts. And as I said, No New Starts is just rounding off leg one 
I'm getting ready to crank up for leg two. I am loving the other games I'm playing at the moment. They've been just resting, Utopia and Survival Stitchiest, and they are just about to ramp up again. Survival Stitchiest has had a bit of a re rejig on things, so I've got to get my head around that. And Utopia, we're just just to this morning going heading looking for some lost children. So we're going on a bit of a journey. So it's one of those story journey ones and it's uh, lots and lots of fun. Okay, so there's two more pieces I've worked on and I did quite a lot of work on these ones too to complete them for the whip go. One of them was a Once Upon a Fairy Tale and it's um it's got lots of things in it. I know I did it because there was a boat down there. And this one, I'm really pleased with how I'm progressing because I think I'm going to actually be able to do this as a bit of a major color scaffold. So I was just doing the black along here, but you can see that I'm getting this quite a big color scaffold. So I think I'm going to actually big color scaffold my way across the whole picture. So that's pretty exciting to have that one done. And then the other one that I worked on for quite a few prompts and in particular I had a couple of colour prompts where you had to use a particular colour was the World Postage Stamps from Soda Stitch and I completed a lot of stitches in white and in yellow, I mean white and blue sorry, so I was up there at the top working on soul. So that completes those ones for, for their whip goes. Um, I'm not sure any of them are going to get any extra love, but we will find out. So that then brings me to my segment I keep forgetting to do, and I love it. And this is my Australian Word of the Week segment for all the people overseas. And today I am just going to teach you that this, today's word is fair dinkum. Fair income means it's good, it's real, it's valid, it's a good thing. So if you're fair income, it means you're okay. It means that you can be trusted that you, you're doing the right thing. So if anyone ever says to you that you're fair income, it's a compliment. Okay, and if someone says you're not fair income, then they, may, they think that you're lying or not telling the truth or you're not all that you pretend to be. So that's your word of the week. All right, haul. You will notice there's not a lot of haul happening this year. I am being good. But I did get my threads, thread clubs from um, Stitch in Time down in Tasmania. My classic colour works. My gentle arts. <laughs> and this combination, my weeks. So we're working our way through. We're up to the D's. The G's and the D's. So that's really exciting. And then I just got another parcel in the mail this minute and it's my silks for you. So let's open that up, shall we? I um, was asked by a friend about whether I should, whether they should get the, the color of the month or the silks of the month. Um, I get both. I can't remember which is which, but this one I think it's the colour of the month. This is four skeins of their regular brand. And then the um, colour of the month is especially dye. I love them both. So I'm going to keep getting both. They're just, they're gorgeous. And really, they do a fantastic job. The business that they provide is great. So that is my whole haul. A <laughs> um, little bit of Paddock Lane Designs news. We are currently having a sale on the um, spot dyed fabrics. As you know, when hand dyeing, sometimes you get colored spots that come through, no matter what you do to try and prevent them. So the spot dyed fabric sale is on. And if you use the, um, the code spot dye sale, um, when you buy one of the pieces from the spot dye album, you get 50% off. So it's a half price piece of fabric and you only just have to buy one other item on the website, um, paddocklanedesigns.com. And one thing you may be interested in buying is things like this is a new stitching, wing, scissor fob. 
So you could buy yourself one of those um, and then get a half price piece of fabric. So it's a pretty good deal. All right, my plans. Well, I have a few more things left to stitch this week. I'll show you where we're at for the month. The month is looking pretty good. See all those colored ones? I'm not gonna get a lot of the divas done. They're huge. There's a couple more there I need to mark off. As you can see, mostly down the bottom with the map. And then I think I'll be filling in some movies for pop culture. Um, and then getting ready for, for next next month because it's not gonna be long. On th um, well, on Friday my time, the um, new Whipgo pieces will be launched. So then I'll be madly getting the pieces ready for next month. So. I've only got a few more days to work on these ones and then they'll go away unless I keep them out. I am having a thought though, because my list has that spare spot, like I'm gonna do a full coverage, I'm gonna leave Anzac, I'm gonna do my six whip goes and my three animal runs. I've got one more spot and I'm wondering if maybe I should keep one piece from the current month, like the previous month and roll it over that's closest to a finish and do more work on it. So I'm toying with that idea at the moment. Let me know what you think below, please. Do you think that's a great idea that I should keep the piece that's closest for a finish? Um, for this month, that piece would be Gigi. Or should I leave the spot for just a random piece? So please comment below what you think. Um, help me make my mind up. I do like the hive brain a lot. And I will look forward to catching up with you guys next week. Happy stitching, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Bye.